welcome back to the channel bar i'm your host gina and i'm here with my girl queen kiki i'm keisha y'all i'm follow me y'all and we have a special guest with us tonight what's your name big dog how you feel okay <laughs> big dog <laughs> i'm snug welcome snug we, we happy to have you on the channel bar but before we get started i want to give a special shout out to the antidote a special shout out to the Smoky Pit. And tonight I want to give a special shout out to Kanaya for making, wrapping my opal. Let me see. See? Oh, that's too cute. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Uh, shout out that's to nice. Kanaya. Follow Kanaya, y'all, on the Antidope on Instagram, T H E Antidope. Okay, so before we get started, we're going to take a little break. And yeah. Hey guys, if you love that episode at I Got Drinks, you definitely need to come check out our I Got Drink mixers, which my favorite is the margarita. I have classic daiquiri, and I have old fashioned cream cocktail. And coming soon, we will be making these on the show, so check these out. And we are going to give our honest opinions on them, but I'm already a fan, so. So get these and make sure to view more episodes of I Got Drink at the Anadol Network on YouTube, Roku TV, Fire TV, and Apple TV. And Amazon. What's up, y'all? This your girl Slim Too Big. And when I say y'all, this a Bacciano. Hitting? Hitting. So good, y'all. I don't want to put this down. So now I'm about to try this. Boudin egg roll. First time trying it, let me see. You're gonna get my pure reaction from it. Mmm. You like boudins? You're gonna really like this. Shout out to the people for the egg roll boudins and the hibachiana. Slim too bad. Checking out, baby. I'm about to go eat. <laughs> Is it slug or slug? slug? Okay, slug. I got a question. Yeah, well, you still know with me. I got a question. <laughs> Fourth of July or Juneteenth? <laughs> uh, Please say the right thing. I'm going to go with Juneteenth. Yeah! Yay. 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 That's right. Why you going with Juneteenth? Let's just go say it. Why? Mm -hmm. I got to give you an explanation. Just so you don't have to be long, just a little one. I just feel like 4th of July is the white people holiday and Juneteenth is for the black people. Bam. Okay. <laughs> Period. And why do you think that. it's for the black people? Why I think? Yeah, so why you know? Yeah. Why or why you know? How why you know? know? How you know? I don't know. Keisha told me. Keisha told me. Keisha told me, so I yeah, know I it's told, accurate. Told, it's told, accurate. Told, so so I want to see what I you know. Years ago, I told her too. Yeah, I, I, I want to know your too. perspective. Like, Why what? Don't know my perspective? He don't want. He don't know y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know. I know. I know. All right, y'all help, help us out. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, before for before she tell okay, us I'm why. Saying. Before you tell us why. Okay. I gotta admit, I mm -hmm. I didn't find out until my adult life when mm -hmm. I met Keisha after I finished nursing school. And I met her at work when she was training me. She let me know about Juneteenth. Now, how sad is this shit? Yeah, oh, she was I like, mean, I had no idea. And it I ain't really sad because they teach you about the 4th of July. Right. The right. Mm -hmm. teach you about Juneteenth. Right. Right. That's true. Right. That's true. Yeah. They don't. You have to take like an African American course in order for them to teach you about it. You specifically have to take that in high school for them to tell you instead of that being a part of American history. Right. But. Juneteenth was when, okay, when the 4th of July, we're gonna break it down in layman's term, make it easy for everybody, right? Uh -huh. So the 4th of July happened, black people were still slaves. We were still in slaves. So <laughs> even though it was independence from, from, from and creating our own country, we were still enslaved. So when the slaves got free, initially, they didn't have the news that mm -hmm. they were free. They didn't know. It took a while for them to know. It took about two years or so. It took a while and then they got the word of it when they when they heard about it, it was June 19th. What was it, 1865 or something yeah. like that? Mm -hmm. So that's when they found out, oh, we free. So that's the freedom and independence for black people. So that's why we, we celebrate got June 19th. So that's a Southern holiday? 
It should be nationwide. A lot of people mm-hmm. do it. it. Some became, people go harder than others. It became a national holiday Bayreuth. in 2021. Okay. Yeah. 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 And we used to celebrate it in Baton Rouge. I can remember going downtown, taking my children to the Juneteenth. We seen Max Manelli. Like, they people used to uh, Don't they have a parade stuff. or something? They used to have like a little parade, but they don't mm-hmm. been doing They ain't been turning up Juneteenth in the last over a, de- a decade. So when it became mm-hmm. a national holiday, people didn't turn up? No, they didn't really turn up. Not where we from. I'm just saying, but it turned yeah. up other places though. I think Texas never not turned up for June 10th, right? Because mm-hmm. that's where it happened. Damn. Right there, so. I bet they got to support for for July place. though. They gonna be turned for four. But see, I see they do turn with they, up. With they, with they, they flag, bro. Not no more. 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 Not but yeah. that's just in Louisiana, right? That's just in Louisiana, that's for us. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I learned me some. I learned some. But you're supposed to know that. You're asking me. <laughs> 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 it's sad that we don't well, know that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. But, but you ain't know nothing. Hey, like, I knew I was wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, because like you say, they didn't teach us that in school. Yeah, they, they only taught us about the But I didn't, I didn't realize. Life. Like real talk, I didn't realize that other black people didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so don't feel bad because like, I learned it in my like, life. Like I don't even oh, know when I first mm-hmm. yeah. when I first heard what about, about it. you. I don't know. You learned your adult life. <laughs> yep, like what three weeks ago. I'm three. <laughs> 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 Hold on. How, Wait. how long you been knowing about it? About a year now. About a year. Well, okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 It's still real. I didn't know that people didn't I, know that. Why really in the world did. this information not taught in school? Right. Because they teach you what they want you to know. Exactly. Yeah. It's a, you gonna learn European is history of the mm-hmm. ass. Right. But you ain't about to learn nothing about no black about people. Right, right. Okay, we all black people sitting up here. Do y'all feel like this narrative can ever be changed? Yeah, what, if we don't think if if it's pushed. If we yeah. push it, if we push if it. If we what? make African American history, mm-hmm. we take it from being an elective. Mm-hmm. In high school, and we make it a, a course well, that you have. Well, I was elected at nine. It was an elective at my high school. I went straight oh. up from New Orleans. See, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't get I that. I didn't, I didn't get that. Course. <laughs> I didn't get that course until I went to college. Until I went to college. But okay, so you ask how you change it though? Mm-hmm. You change it because you reach people in high school, 15, 16. Mm-hmm. But you take African American history and you give a person who want to take it credit mm-hmm. for it as a real history credit and not as right. Elective, because yeah. when you make it an elective, you downplaying the history, and that's a hard ass motherfucking course. Yeah, remembering all them people, you will learn so much shit. But you know, yeah. that's what you mm-hmm. need. Most so, importantly, I feel like we need to teach this shit at home. I, I was just about to say, need to start like in With elementary the school. Well, yeah, exactly. and once you get to high school, your mind really closed off. It just, you don't learn mm-hmm. much in yeah. high school, huh? I nah. ain't learn shit. You ain't lying. <laughs> but, if, but if, yeah, I feel like that should be taught in A and P, anatomy and physiology, because people don't know their body. You know, A and P. Well, they need to teach financial literacy. Oh, too, yeah. you gotta give I'm me some about that. Oh, 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 about credit. I learned how to do taxes and everything. Financial about not taxes, though. Financial like, literacy. They taught a lot of stuff. They taught you about credit and everything. Yeah. We, we so yeah. caught up on buying shit to the other people. We so taught you to work for somebody. I took challenge in the That's what it really is. Like yeah. school yeah. condition you to work for somebody. Yeah. 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 They don't want you to be the boss. Yeah. I took it though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I you know what else I think we should have? Yeah. Emotional yeah. intelligence. Oh, girl, you're taking it too far. You oh, want to learn all that shit? Girl, ain't nobody can learn that shit. I ain't emotional intelligence. I'm fucking school. This was retarded. You know what But people, teach people, me that in when my twin is a son. People don't like let them this dumb wow. shit out of my motherfucking son. Okay, I like mm-hmm. the emotional intelligence too, but Big people sad. that lack like emotional intelligence, I got tired of going to jail. 
I went. 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 I Mm -hmm. Man, it don't matter. She don't even want to talk about it. Ain't no mama taught me the right way. Emotional intelligence out the ass. Did yeah. I listen? Fuck no. no. You got to get this from what a street niggas taught okay. her. You know that already, Jenna? Your mama taught you. You just was open to learn from a street mm -hmm. nigga. Yeah. And that's what most people do. You well, that don't make it right. I, <laughs> I, I did it too, but that don't make it right. I ain't say that make that, it right. That I'm made me you have to... You're right. I ain't going go through some way. shit that I you need really to go through. Right, though. I'm just being ignorant. But you I have know, to go through it to know it, though. Like, you no, have to go through it. You can tell this person to do this or whatever. They still going to do what the fuck they want to do, just like our kids. We can raise them this way, but they going to do what the fuck they want to do when they get older. Raise a child in the way that they should go, and when they get grown, they will return to it. Man, yeah. they gonna do what the hell they want to program do. that child in the way you want that child to go. Well, you did what you wanted to do. She chin, and I had a mommy I and daddy. They try to teach me the right way. I was, I was like, well, I, I was, I'm gonna give her enough rope to hang her stuff, and I just I was I was raised with my mom and my daddy too, but I, <laughs> I still lack the emotional mm -hmm. intelligence. All right. I don't think that's something about a computer. Oh yeah, they got books, they got plenty of literature, they got mm -hmm. podcasts. You gotta lectures. learn that shit on your own, Big Blaze. Oh, like, no, 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 no. You <laughs> have to go through it to know. Well, it's, it can teach you the importance of it. Yeah, yeah. and right. it can give you an awareness of where you lack it. Uh -huh. I don't think you can teach emotion. You can teach emotional, emotional You can control it. You can teach emotional intelligence. Yeah, you can. I don't. don't There's plenty of literature still, on it. It's hard for me plenty to literature. this day to be oh, emotional intelligent oh, sometimes. You know, I wanted to flash out not that long ago. I had every right to, bitch. I had every right to, but yeah. I did. But guess what? You control your emotions. Listen, let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm you, just, you, you can still, 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 still got to do it. You yeah, can I still flash out. It. You can still <laughs> flash out from time to time. But let that flash and be righteous. It's still emotional intelligence. Emotional like you gotta have. I'm always right. I ain't, I ain't say it right. I ain't say it right. <laughs> right and right. right. Making right. 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 the right decision. Right. 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 You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? So, Always so picking what's right. You can, you Being on the. Read, you can read books and stuff on it, right? Yeah. yeah. So just because it got wrong. Not, book, not just. Not just because. Do that deem it as accurate because some of, who taught the person that wrote? Well, I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you something. That, that, right there's a, a tool. There's a tool called an accelerometer or something like that. And that tool actually measures the emotional scale. It, it measures emotions by in hertz. So there's an, a frequency when you feel feeling depressed or when you're feeling joy, or when you're feeling love, or when you're feeling enlightenment, there's a frequency for each emotion. Mm -hmm. And based on what frequency you're vibrating on, that's what type of experiences you're going to attract in this life. I so it's very to important to know. If you're vibrating at a scale of depression, then guess what you're, you're going to do? Depressed. You're going to attract like experiences. Depressed. You're going to attract depressed people. You're going to attract you shit that's going to make you even mm -hmm. more depressed people than you already was. She right. preach. Right. So what you got to say, Blaze? I, I just don't see how... How can you teach, you can you can say you can something can show you or teach you emotional intelligence when nothing can Well they can really give you tips you, and like, pointers on it. Well, well, well let me tell you what I think is most of a woman conversation though. Yeah. Well let me tell they you what act I think emotion. Emotional they intelligence. No offense, but that's women the truth, act off emotion. That's the truth. So that's okay. why you can talk I'm about it. I'm glad you said yes, that. I'm, I'm glad you said that. All these niggas doing all this killing and shit, they killing because they in their But but guess what would have happened? No, they not in their feelings. Guess what? They, no have no they don't have no 
feelings. No, okay. it's no it's no about it's 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 They don't have no feelings. They don't have no feelings. It's something dealing with something to challenge to make them No, let me tell you, they lack that. They lack. That's why we say teach your children emotional intelligence so when they grow up to be men, they won't act out in rage and kill their brother for no for some bullshit. You know they what I'm saying? No Teach them while they're they young they how young. to take deep breaths Let to calm tell, down their nervous tell. system so they won't react. Teach them how to meditate and be still and know who they are. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because right. they right. don't have no motherfucking feelings. Now, I'm going to tell y'all from a personal standpoint, they put me on some kind of medication one time. It was like some kind of antidepressant, right? Mm -hmm. I started taking that bitch so, you know, it numb your feelings, you feel me? Because mm -hmm. I was feeling depressed or whatever the fuck, right? But it made me, it numbed my feelings so much yeah, I was like, I didn't give a fuck. About like, nothing. I would have killed some fucking bad. Like, yeah. about oh, nothing. Like, no I didn't give a fuck like about them. My compassion <laughs> level was zero. I say this is fucking dangerous. I almost flashed out at work and I was thinking about killing the bitch. I said, this is that medicine. <laughs> 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 I can't say this shit. This shit gonna have me shoot up the whole motherfucker. <laughs> That's how the people be going crazy. Yeah, yeah I had to talk. get off that shit. That shit had me humming like a motherfucker. So would you, wouldn't you oh, like, you rather have like just had some healthy ways to deal with right. that stress and anxiety, yeah. emotional intelligent right. ways yeah. to deal with it instead, instead of, instead of medication? Pills, yeah. Pills. yeah, yeah. You gotta leave them pills and pills how you supposed to. But you said something about um, emotions being a woman thing. I wanted to come back to this. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's seventy five percent women. Seventy five percent women. Yeah. I got a question for you. So. When you dealing with a um, a woman, are you in a relationship? Mm -hmm. What do you look for? Do you look for love or respect? Trust. Trust. Right. But that's not an option. <laughs> <laughs> Trust nobody. Okay, that's not even an option. So do you look for? What do you value the most? Love or respect? Love, because if you love me, you respect me. You the Thank first you. man I heard. The first nigga said that. <laughs> For real. Right. Hey, I'll be with Joe. Yeah, they say oh, respect. Right. Yeah. Joe, love or they respect. They must not really get they no respect. Don't they don't understand love or respect, Joe. Joe scratching his head. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Him, What'd you no. say? Uh -huh. Love or respect, Joe. But if she loves, love she or respect. respect. Love, love or respect, Blaze. Oh, a balance. A balance. Joe, we still wait. Joe. I can't think of one of the other. You gotta love and respect me. So I respect Which one it. come first? Love. Love is all things. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is everything. Love is actually respect. Is reverence. Love, love, love is all in one. And God is love. So love is always greater. Love hey, is the greatest of these. Is I love. Done, I done pulled this man um, strawberry soda, and I forgot to even tell y'all why. We talked about <laughs> we talked about Juneteenth. I thought pulled. you were trying to slip some moment. I right. know, oh, no, no, indeed. And <laughs> <laughs> don't drink no cold strawberry. Strawberry powder. Oh, you oh, it huh? Let me tell you. Strawberry soda. This Go is ahead. how they celebrated Juneteenth back yeah. in the days over the years with strawberry soda. Yeah, it was a thing. It was a it was a thing back then. So that's why we poured you up a cup. Okay. That's why at church, 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 <laughs> churches they be getting the strawberry family. And it's churches, it's Texas fried chicken. For real? I didn't yeah, go to yeah. church then. I don't know if that's a what correlation. What church got to do with churches? Church. church. Oh, church. Oh, church. Oh, <laughs> Oh, what's the name of that alcoholic? She lost. She all the way lost. Belvedere. Belvedere. It done kicked in. Belvedere done kicked in. Look, I'm here too bad. I don't even talk about church. I ain't been to church since the pandemic. I don't even talk about church. I ain't been to church since 2015. I don't know the last time. I ain't been since 15, Gina. She ain't. I don't even know what I went for, but I went. It wasn't no funeral. I went to church for real. I'm talking about going to church to go to church. Since 2015, but that's another story. We're gonna talk. We're gonna do that podcast another time. What, what made you Jesus. stop going to church? No. Hmm. I what made me stop going? Oh, no, that's, that's, that's gonna be the title oh, okay. of the podcast. Yeah. It's gonna make you I stop going to church. For I gotta be like, man. Man. My mom used to have me in church drunk as then a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she used to grow up in Catholic church. Oh, Catholic oh, church. Oh, they oh, drink. They Catholic they church. do that. Yeah, they drink. No, but look, I'm talking about fast forward to Bethany. We used to go to Bethany. In Baker. Man, yes, man. I used Girl. to sit all the way up at the top. She said, you oh, can go wow. your ass to Vibes, you can go your ass to church. I'm like, mom, I'm still fucking drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to go to that motherfucker. 
So look, on the chatter bar, a lot of times we just talk shit, we pick topics, mm -hmm. and, but we put, we felt like we wanted to hit you with random topics, random questions, okay? Right. I don't know, we just felt like that. Mm -hmm. So, one thing I want to know, mm -hmm. um, as far as like, you know what monogamy and polygamy is? Mm -hmm. What's your choice? Like, what would you rather in your relationship, a monogamous You about to get that mind in trouble. <laughs> Any trouble? Why you gonna do that, man? <laughs> Anybody who wants to understand his I'm feelings? I'm gonna say monogamy. Monogamy? Mm -hmm. Why? Cause I ain't, I don't really like Shannon. If I fuck with it, I don't. I ain't with the, the other one, the P word. Right. Mm -hmm. But what if? It was a situation to the where, like, <laughs> you don't like sharing. <laughs> well, what if she want to? Yeah. What if, I, what if your girl is okay with she you sharing? My girl. Oh. But I'm just saying, like anybody in yeah, general, don't do it. I mean, That's like we can have a good time, but the, that ain't my girl. Gotcha. You gotcha. can't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. That man told you. Why you would? You would? You would? Which one you, would you prefer? I don't have a preference, oh. but but I'm open with. I'm open to either one, depending on the situation. If that and makes the person. Sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the person. Um, um, yeah. You hot, huh, bro? What you with? She always down there, huh, bro? Huh? <laughs> 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 she said the same thing. Yeah, what you mean? Same thing. I mean, I'm open to polygamy. I am. Mm -hmm. You got a preference? Not really. I mean, you it depends know. on who have the person is. When you say that she have a preference, what you mean? A pre like something she prefer, <laughs> would you prefer? <laughs> I just, I it depends on who the two person niggas? is. No. no. I mean, that's her thing. I don't know. I was like, do you have a preference? Because that's a good question. <laughs> that's a real good question oh because God, it's we... different dynamics to polygamy. That's why I'm asking. It's like different you dynamics. Two niggas can't be. No. Of course it'll be a woman. It'll be a man. It would not be two niggas. No, it would not. I'm so confused. So if you're polygamous, you can't have two niggas? It'll be like people go. No. But I just, that's not my no, I, I want a woman that can't. You know, hold I want on, a woman that can't. Holly, Holly Andrews. Hold, hold on, hold on, I, hold on. We got somebody it's saying that this is going to be his eyes, eyes on him. She ain't going to know who the baby is. <laughs> How you going to know who the baby is? You ain't going to know who the baby is. Y'all got to take it. So I know you ain't with it then if you feel like that. I can't do two niggas. It'll be some other shit. No, a woman and a man. <laughs> so y'all, let me carry y'all. No, listen. Look, don't make me say this tonight. I almost say, hey, I see I've been know, drinking. I'm, I'm not sure, but it. in that kind of relationship, I feel like everybody has to Don't say it. Don't say it. Look, I'm trying to make no, it sound because I feel like you're about to say it. Okay, like people being together, people be having the side people. So if it's two men and a woman in a relationship, so a nigga just be like, it's my turn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's two men and a woman, y'all not going to have intercourse together? I do want to know. Not 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 so I'm gonna have my turn with but her, but he's gonna have his be turn. We just need to be friends. If that's the case. You see, yeah. yeah. She 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 that's though, why man. I said polyamory. That's why I yeah, said that's some be other be some other shit. shit. Mm -hmm. If you got a nigga, if I got a nigga and a side nigga, uh -huh. then that's that's a poly relationship. But they ain't both fucking me at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I just got a nigga and a side nigga. So basically, that's the situation. So everybody at the table poly. Basically what they said. Basically what they said. Basically what they said. Yeah. And then we also saying that we need to be willing to fuck with a nigga and another female too. We saying we'll do both. It just depends on the situation. But guess what though? It don't mean we gonna be at both with both of the niggas at the same time. That's all we saying. Why not? Because it's a Because niggas don't like being with other niggas. I don't want that type of relationship. But if that's the case, that means you're one way poly. If that's the case, a nigga don't want that type of relationship. That's not the case. That's not the case. That's not the case. If you want some dick from him and you want some dick from him, y'all might well come together. That's just doing the most. How? You're doing it already. You're doing it already. Doing it already. You're doing it already. You know, she come on now. I think you agree. Is it just. Is it, hold up. If you got a wife and then you got another wife, okay, why you got to be together just because? That would be fun. <laughs> but I'm saying, are you against it because how it sounds? It's just like, why are y'all sharing so much energy? Well, why are you like, fucking two different niggas? Really well, why not come together? <laughs> I just, uh, coming together is just... Who wanna come together with two men? I mean, said, you gonna do it. 
do a big group. That's okay. That's okay. Let me tell you something. I'm niggas, sorry. Niggas don't, don't like the share. They don't. Niggas don't like. And let me tell you something. The niggas I fuck with, it's hard to take both of them dicks at the same fucking time. That's kind of impossible. Like I only want both of them niggas at the same time. They tanned the fuck down. So why the fuck do I want to fuck both of them niggas? My pussy already hurt. No, I don't need to do all that. So that maybe people have their own personal reasons why they don't want both of them niggas at the same time. I'm just, uh, thank you. I'm trying to keep my shit in tech. They gonna and make your ass out of You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Man. And niggas don't like the shit. Don't nobody want to think about another nigga fucking my pussy while they fuck. Like, in reality, nigga, nigga will watch you. On a flick or some shit, or you be like, look what this little hoe did. You know what I'm saying? So your home. Yeah. You know, niggas do that kind of shit. Man, shut up, because you know it's the fucking truth. Don't even act like I'm like, hold on. Hold on. That's what y'all do. That pussy like that's what y'all do. Hey, I ain't never exposed nobody, so that's okay. my way. Like, so some niggas do. Some niggas do. Hey, that's some niggas. Some niggas do. I might want to come back and hit it a little later. Yeah, so why would I do that? They might show it to you without even sending it, though. Some niggas do. You, but niggas don't even if they. They do do that, they don't necessarily want to share their pussy. Like, nigga be fucking on you, they don't want to share that pussy. Mm -hmm. they Why y'all looked at me like I was wrong when I said I was selfish? It's okay. Oh, we didn't. I do ain't nothing wrong. That's your preference. And the people not wanting their partners to be each other at the same time. So that's double right. standard? No. Yeah, it is what it is, like though. Like hey, like take me as I am. Like you got two, you got two it's, it is what it is. It is what it is, though. So they might want it to come together. She got more to lose, so we both got something to lose. <laughs> <laughs> you did this before. No, don't do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't did that before. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> oh, you found that funny, huh? So, anyway, uh, let's go back to the, the, the interview, whatever. So, anyway, what? You know, expired you to start rapping and how old when you start rapping? That's a two-part question. I don't know. I just felt like the rappers had everything I wanted. But I ain't understand that rap don't get what I want. What it is. That shit fake. It's just, it's just rapping. Mm, okay. Mm. I need you to explain. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, explain mm -hmm. that one to me. Nah, when I was growing up, I always felt like rappers had the cars, the jewelry, and the clothes and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Money, cars, clothes, clothes. Man, yeah. that right. shit don't really come with rap. Right. Mm -hmm. It don't. It don't. It don't at all. Right. So you gotta I was you have to work your way. I always up said I felt like if I can go back and play sports or something, I'd do that versus trying to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. Cause Cause it ain't a rapper. What you think it is. Right. Because it's hard. Yeah, and with, with sports, you got a window. Like, you know, within four to eight years, four years of high school, four years of college, if you're going to make it or not. With this music shit, it's hard. you don't know. Yeah. I don't, you don't know if you're going to make it, so I'm spending money on it, but hey. How do you tackle shit? Do you tackle your music career through the lens of an artist or a businessman? Both. Both. Yeah. I, I, um, I do business. I'm good with doing business, but the music industry wants you to be literate, so I'd never let you know that I'm smart. Yeah, right. I'm gonna act like a rapper. Cold jeans over here. They don't even know. For real, don't know it. Don't know it. Look, boss green a hoe in her phone. Hey, she she's talking her phone like you taking a test. Hey, she down here like this, y'all. I'm gonna see a question. Don't she takes you somebody she don't want you to see. Oh, that's what you that's what you like that. What you want to say? You ain't like One time, I know that ain't you, Texas. Oh! Let me find out. I ain't say nothing. What he said? I ain't hear it. I ain't say Like what? Like what? I just feel like I'm authentic. Mm. And I start rapping the day of the morning, I'm still gonna live where I'm living. So ain't no studio. Ain't nah, no studio rapping. They know that. Everybody yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And I think that maybe like when I first heard your music, it caught me. Like I don't really like fuck with shit that ain't authentic. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm an energy person. I can feel the energy. <laughs> you, heard, you heard me. 
So yeah, I fuck with nah, it. Nah, this me for real. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't gonna, I, I do rapping, but it ain't like, that ain't something that I just do all day. Like, right. I really hustle. I really like, spend mm -hmm. time and do shit other than music. Rapping just working for me at the moment. Okay. Are you a family person? Like, are you yeah. tapped in with your family? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tapped in with yourself? I don't know my family depend on. They calling me for problems. That's and not just financial problems, like emotional, just talking, anything. Just everything. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. going and they everybody run to. What's yeah. your sign? A Libra. A Libra. Oh, okay. I heard Libra men was crazy. So they is. Lord. It take a lot for it to come out though. They loyal. Like a nigga give you a pass all day. Yeah. Right. Just don't play them. Gotcha. Don't yeah. leave us. Don't leave us. Yeah. You must know from experience. Don't leave us. They slow. They don't like it, huh? God. They slow. <laughs> I don't think I ever fuck with them. You have it? You missing that. Them Virgos be fucking me up, though. I don't like them fucking Capricorns, though. Horrible. They like the worst sign. Virgos <laughs> the worst sign. And men or women? Both. Both. <laughs> Why you say that? Why we got you some Virgos that? here. That might just be your Who are Virgos? They don't got no Virgos. No Virgos. I, like I don't like their Virgos or Capricorns. Virgos find everything about you. They will talk to you. They will ruin your life. Nasty. They nasty though. They nasty. They nasty. They nasty. I think Virgos are laid back and kind of shit. They're kind of laid back a little bit. But they, they some nerd. They, you a Virgo? No, my son, my daddy was a Virgo. Oh. oh they laid back. Well, your daddy was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, here you go, my question. What's your middle name? Taiwan. 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 Like the country. Taiwan. Like the country. Taiwan. Taiwan. What I wasn't supposed to say? Oh, I just, some people don't like their middle, middle name, name, but I like your middle name. You gotta take me as I am. Yeah, I like your middle name. Some people don't like it. One though. more question for him. What you got? <laughs> what was the other question? Okay. <clears throat> Who you think doing their thing right now with the rep shit? NBR. Why you gonna ask me that? He said, right. look. I don't know. Yeah, he can say it's Besides you. You can say it's Besides you. Oh, besides you, she do a curve in Specific, I don't want to step on nobody's toes, but I don't like, want to. You don't want to answer that? I really don't. Ask him, ask him it's to one. each his own. Everybody feel like they doing their shit. Shout out to everybody. Everybody. Yeah. 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 Bad Rouge yeah. really doing their shit right now. Like, yeah. shout out to Bad Rouge yeah. for doing like their shit in surrounding areas, okay? Right. Shout out to this. Unlike what old boy said last what time. What old boy said last time. He said what? ain't nobody from Baton Rouge or some shit or something to that nature. He was like, like yeah. No, she needed to shout out. Yeah, I don't like, know. We waited to the end of that podcast and brought that question back around. We had to bring that question back around. He said we don't got no flavor or some shit. Let's say who it was. We ain't going to even call his name. We ain't going to even call his name. He's savage. Oh, she called it. Oh, he's from out here? I can't think of his name. Dinner Spring. No. He said Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Yeah, he was from Gonzalez. He's from Gonzalez. Well, I blame y'all. He's from Gonzalez. Why? 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 That's not Baton Rouge. I no. But he just gave his opinion. <laughs> we talk about. about what he rapping? He, you know, just because he's from Gonzalez, that he still fall under that Baton Rouge. It was like that. It was like that. He said Gonzalez. Tell the people how they can follow you on social media sites, how we can get your music and all types of shit, you know, shit like that. Uh, You can follow me on Instagram, underscore, underscore, snub. Okay. I mean, any platform with music, I'm on there. And we outside. You can find me outside. And guess what, y'all? You the one, girl. And you the one. <laughs> Look, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for doing the verse that with me. Nice, thank man. you for showing up on the chatter bar. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a break. I asked gonna... one question. Oh, oh. oh Keisha got another one before we, before we get I got, I got like three or four. I had like seven questions. Well, we did. Let me hear what you got to say. Okay, we're going to take a break and then I'm going to ask my questions. Bet. All right. All right. All right. It's your boy Mike Hustle. Shout out to the antidote. Hey man, check out my new jerseys, bro. Just dropped these the other day. Good authentic feel, bro. Just like the old Venice NBA jersey, you know what I'm talking about? Everything stitched from the tags to the letters on the jersey, bro. The detail. I got the white, I got the blue, baby blue. I thought I had the white one on. I'm drunk. I got the baby blue on and shit like that, you know what I'm mean? saying? I got my new design right here, my baseball jersey t shirt that's coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm turning this to a hoodie also, and I got my belts. Ain't nobody doing belts like this, bro. Like Good quality this. Ain't it long and put a thing out like that? Good quality. Good quality. Yeah, I feel serious. It's thick.
Yeah. Yo, this shit's so dope. I ain't gonna lie, man. Hold your pants up for all y'all niggas that wanna sing and yeah. shit. Make sure I go check out foreverhustle.com. Oh, yeah, foreverhustle.com. It's the website. Check them out. We got a store in Jackson. Yeah, right? North yeah. Park Mall. Come see me. North Park Mall. Yeah, good quality, man. Yeah. Soldier Burn. Welcome to Centurion Car Care, located at 11857 Florida Boulevard, where we do quality work at an affordable price. We also do paint and body, exhaust work, and any minor and major mechanic work. Best mechanic shop south of the Mississippi. So Keisha, what you got for our guests? I know you got some questions. Yeah, I got a question. So, one question. What was your dream job as a teenager? When you was a teenager, what did you always dream that your job would be? A oh, dream rapper. job. Mm -hmm. Around the whole time. Real talk. Okay. See, I thought it was going to be something different. What you thought it was going to be? Because but she went to high school, so of course mm -hmm. it's probably a rapper. You got to go to like elementary school for somebody. Go Because I wanted to rap in high school, but in elementary school, but I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> okay, but I asked as a teenager, I thought this was going to be a good question. This is why I thought it was going to be a good question. Because he said, this was going to be a good question. Because he said the rappers just had what he wanted. So you, that's why you wanted the rap. So I was thinking maybe you had something else in mind. Like me, I wanted the money, but I wanted to get it. I don't know what I wanted what to be. What you wanted to do? I wanted to be a weed kind of school. Like just smoke different types of weed and tell people I how remember to feel you about it. it. Yeah, I mm -hmm. wanted to be a luxury car test driver. That's in high school or? In high school. What about elementary and middle? I wanted to be a doctor. Yeah, yeah. I'm a nurse, okay. but you know, I ain't, I ain't, now I know better, I would never want to be a doctor. I wanted to be an astronaut and I'm a nurse, so it ain't matching. It ain't going to go. Yeah, so would you just settle for before. being a nurse? For being a nurse? My mama I wanted to be to a sex tape me. critic. That's mm -hmm. the third oh. thing I wanted to be. How your mama used to discourage you? <laughs> she used to say, girl, you can't go to no moon. Girl, you can't, girl, you can't go out of no space. And my yeah, my third job was a sex tape critic. I used to want to oh, be a sex tape it. critic. I remember you doing that. I used to want to look at sex tapes and tell them you did that wrong, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So you freaky. I ain't answer that. I plead the fifth on it. Okay, this was this was the other question. Would you rather snitch or cheat? Ooh. Oh, wait, like the situation. Is we snitching just on what? Period. You rather I'm a cheat. Just, you rather <laughs> cheat. Right, that's it. That was all. It I'm was a cheat simple. too. Why you that was cheat. Huh? I just wanted to know you how you look like you cheat. <laughs> my grandma cheated. Everybody except my husband. There you go. I was married for 18 years. I'm divorced now. I'm back outside. Why you had a divorce? Cause he was cheating. Cause he cheated with the big country culture. Like, <laughs> he cheated like my daughter. <laughs> my daughter used to not like him. My daughter's both of them. My daughter's. But for right 18 now. years, he ain't raised your daughter. Yeah, he was good too. He was good. <laughs> <laughs> That's at the end. You goofed so, out, so, can so I? When did he turn to a bitch ass nigga? When he cheated on my mama. <laughs> like, he like, hey, but that goes back to the first thing. You oh, acting man. off emotions. What about all the good he did for 18 years? Okay. Y'all just thinking about him cheating on your mama. I mean, that's definitely. Neither one of y'all ever cheated. At the end of the day, have either one of y'all ever cheated? It don't matter. Have any of y'all ever cheated twice? Him cheating was 
disrespectful. Y'all probably disrespected him because y'all felt like he cheated on mom. Nothing was disrespectful. He and he cheated on mom. Backing off emotions. Hey, them children take their mama side. They ain't their daddy. Right. Right. So you know, it just mm -hmm. they ain't their daddy. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 I mean, they daddies probably cheated too, but they wouldn't. You they don't live too young. Yeah, they just. I never talk bad about their daddies' tongue. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to be able to have a good them to have a good relationship with their daddy that I didn't have with their daddy. So I never really talk bad about their individual. You know what I'm saying? So they, the real daddy was active. Yeah, they real daddies was active. It, look, at, for her graduation, her daddy, her daddy. And, uh, and my husband was there. Yeah, I had a family reunion. Stop. It takes a village. Hey, that's that Polly, huh? It takes a village. <laughs> <laughs> All the niggas kind of I got through. a question. What do you think um, men really want in a relationship? Loyalty. Loyalty? What do you think women really want? Hmm. Y'all just really want Everything. someone that's financially stable and loyal. Financial stability was at the top of the list. That's number one. Mm -hmm. That sound about right. That is but right. But you really can't go off of that. But not just that, though. That's a, that's a plus. A, a nigga will beat you up. Why y'all can't do the same for a man? We can. Yes, we can. We've been doing mm -hmm. that shit since the beginning. So you going to give me the time of day if I come and you I ain't got nothing. Man, my husband was the brokest nigga I ever fucked with when, you met when him? I met that nigga. When you met yeah, him? Yeah, when I met that nigga, he was the brokest nigga I ever fucked with. No He lie. just fucked you good? That's why you liked him? No, I seen potential in that motherfucker and he was young. He did fuck So you felt good. like you could raise him? I did raise him. I did, I did. So you molded him into the man you yeah, wanted him to be? And they, yeah, yeah. So you built him up and then he shout out. Yeah. That's what, you know. So you built him be, up for the next bit. Hey, but probably, uh, he ain't shit though, you know, when it comes to <laughs> some relationship shit, when it comes to taking care of you, mm -hmm. he'll do, he'll step, you get what I'm saying? When it comes to taking care of you, he'll do that shit. But when it comes to being in a monogamous relationship, it ain't in it. Yeah, well, you say you was cool with Polly. Hey, she just this, got cool like, with Polly. This, Come on, this, man. This that's the thing. A, this is the thing. When we yourself. went into this relationship, it was monogamy. It was me and him. Mm -hmm. And he would have expressed that the right way. And this is the thing. Even if he knew I was cool with Polly, if we have a threesome or something, you never know. You get what I'm saying? He still cheated. Why are you cheating with Why you attract a big, ugly black bitch? <laughs> no. She might have no. made him feel good. good. Man, she had to. Why is she? If, why been why is she? If your woman opened the pilot, just tell her uh, that because somebody. He is a bad but, person. but men don't he cheat. Men don't he cheat. I don't know. That, that's yeah, a just difference. a difference. Men don't, men don't, don't cheat. cheat for the reasons a woman would cheat. So he wasn't cheating, trying to replace you. No, but he was, he was, he was, it crossed the line. No, mm. he wasn't cheating with emotions. But if you cheat, you cheating with emotions. How you know? Man, I study women. Come on, stop. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta explain that to me. What you mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I done had my share of women, and I gotta understand a woman. So you I can't say if a woman cheat, they cheat because of what? They cheating emotion. off emotion. What that hey, mean? Hey, you gonna fuck that nigga, and you down there ready to tell him you love him if it's good enough. But if I can she fuck her, and it could be good, and I, I ain't gotta talk to her no more. No more. Right. Mm. Shit, nigga. nigga. Hey, nigga, no. That shit go both ways. I ain't gonna lie, he telling the truth. Fuck me yeah, today, and can. I cannot know your name tomorrow. It depends on the situation. Hey, but 90% of the time it's the other way around. Really you right about you really that. Really you right, right about that. But some people can have the ability to detach their pussy yeah. from their emotions. I promise you. That's majority of women. Niggas could fuck a bitch and keep going. They ready to fuck something Women could fuck a nigga Fight. and keep going oh, too. But I can't do nigga, it. I'm tender, Kate. I got feelings. You ready to fall in love? That guy's ready to keep calm, huh? That's why I'm doing that. Hey, say small. That's why I'm doing that. Hey, with that. That's why I'm doing that. Sometimes women could do that too, though. Women could do what? Fuck they keep going, and I'm scared of them kind. Yeah, it's something scared of them kind. I don't want nothing to do and with then, that. And then you will never even know it, though. I'm, you will I'm never good. even know it. She won't, she won't tell. She won't tell. Don't nobody know. Don't nobody know her motherfucking business. You get what I'm saying? Like, some people move like that. So you saying a woman could fuck me and be gone? Period. And don't kill Straight up. I don't hey. ever want to run across her. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever want to run across her. That's not my type of woman. You scared? I ain't scared, but if you're doing that to me, you you got your shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm we straight. Gotta talk to
Okay. All right, y'all. Well, thank you, Snug, for coming. That's no it was yeah, fun talking to you about all this random shit and <laughs> Juneteenth. Snug, we had fun talking to you. We thank did. you so much. We did. Pray to tell for self. coming to the chatterboard. No thank problem. you. We had fun. All right. And it's nice to meet you. Same to you. Drink that Juneteenth drink. Did you eat some food? <laughs> Yeah. You enjoyed your food? It was straight. Yeah. I don't think they can fuck with me, but yeah. Oh, you are. Oh, wow. <laughs> we need to be invited to the barbecue. For real. <laughs> <laughs>
coming to the channel, Ooh. boy. We Love. really appreciate y'all presence tonight. Uh -huh. Really We're going to close it out. Before we close it out, again, I want to give a special shout out to the Antidote, International Joe, the Smoky Pig, and Kenaya. Follow her on Instagram. Yay. She wrapped my um, stone right here. Y'all see it's beautiful. I it love is. it. Follow her on Instagram at the antidote. T H E the other antidote. antidote. Okay. Thank y'all so much. We out this bitch. Money